Rated E for everyone. Hello everyone, Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. I am just jumping on here to let you know that Giants have announced a new DLC, and this is the Farm Production Pack, which is coming on April 30th for PC and console. Like the Pumps and Hoses pack that was created by Creative Mesh, this pack has been done in collaboration with Dutch Modding Inc. If you know Dutch Modding Inc, you'll know the quality of their mods. So they've been working with Giants to produce this. And basically they're adding logistics, resource management and operations to your farm. Now the pack looks pretty big, included over 20 new machines, buildings, cell points and more to expand your operations. And again, every, something for every size as well. So small stuff as well as much larger operations, which you can grow and develop as time goes on. There's some nice new touches as well, as well as smaller wind turbines. We also have solar panels that come with a remote control robot to clean them as well, which is quite a nice touch. And as well as earning passive income, you've got a lot of new options of sheds that you can build with the funds that keep coming in from those. So you can have open sheds, closed sheds, small, medium, large, and you can also customize them and tweak them to store different things. That could be machines, that could be pallets, that could be bales or other bulk materials. Now, what I think is really cool about this is it sounds like there's going to be some sort of dynamic pricing and demand based on what you do in game. So it's kind of like clever enough to work out what's happening and adjust the prices accordingly, which is quite exciting. It also sounds like they're going to introduce some sort of daily challenges or tasks. Uh, and again, it looks like they're going to reward you as well for fast deliveries and you might get a little bit of extra pay at the end of those as well. So as well as the new cell points and storage, it looks like we have some interesting new things for the farm as well. So we've got the Lely Sphere, which is a circular manure handling system, which creates liquid fertilizer by combining it with air from the animal sheds. Um, and then you've got a green fertilizer, really. You're, you're reusing assets you've got on the farm rather than buying expensive chemical fertilizers. So brownie points there from a green perspective. You've also got the VDW Cleaner Tiger, which looks like it cleans and cuts sugar beets after separating them from stones. And you've got a washing drum that produces all kinds of washed crops, which, again, will sell for a higher price. A bit like um, corn dryers and corn, dry corn selling for a higher price as well. So that's interesting. And for me, the, what I think is the pièce de résistance of this pack is the big distribution centre that you get as part of it. Over 4,000 square metres lots and lots of storage in there i mean you could literally run a logistics empire this i'm starting to think what this would work like on a 4x or a 16x or a 32x map like spring creek where you could be running errands all over the map it honestly makes me quite excited this does this is this is for me one of the most progressive dlcs we've seen in a long time it's really introducing some new uh, aspects to the game here which i really like and i get you know some of you might go well it's not farming it's ats or ets it, it's all part of the process of delivering goods from farms to end consumers and i like the fact that there's a diversity in the game like that of course it's entirely up to you whether you want to buy it or not. But I think this really adds another level of interest and engagement to the game. So I, for one, will be really looking forward to checking this out. Now, the price is going to vary depending on the region, but we're looking at a price in euros of seven euros 99. And if you're in the US, we're looking at seven dollars 99. So for me, all of that stuff that we've just talked about for that price seems pretty good to me. Uh, you can pre-order it straight away you can do that right now and of course if you want to support the channel at no extra cost to you feel free to drop in my code farm sim guy when you're at the checkout so that's all the news we have so far i've put a link to the blog post in the description below um, and if we get any more news closer to launch day we of course will bring you that and fingers crossed we will get access to this just a few days beforehand so we can take a good look at it and uh, share it with you. So until then, thank you very much for listening and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now. Rated E for everyone.